Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm taking a look at a couple of new workstation class computers from HP in the ZBook series for 2025. Both of them are going to be coming out in the spring. And first, we've got a laptop, which is called the HP ZBook Ultra 14G1A. And we've also got a mini PC, which is the HP Z2 Mini G1A. So the uh, mini and the Ultra G1 means uh, sort of the new Generation 1 and the A stands for AMD. And both of these are going to have the latest AMD Strix Halo processors on the inside. Stay tuned for more details about those uh, specific processor options. But starting at about $1,200, starting at around $1,400 or $1,500, these are going to be true workstation class computers that have up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory and up to 96 gigabytes of that can be dedicated to video. So in the past, sometimes when you look at a sort of relatively thin and light laptop that was called a mobile workstation, there were some sacrifices that had to be made in terms of what kind of power and performance you put in there. But we've got in, uh, in this one a desktop class uh, processor with a, a, a TDP default at about 55 watts up to 14 hours of battery life, according to Mobile Mark, uh, for light usage. A lot less for heavy usage, obviously, but it is going to have sort of that desktop class uh, GPU and CPU performance. Whereas in here, we've got similar processor options, but they're going to be able to run at 120 watts, giving you better sort of long-term performance. And um, a couple of other benefits, including two M2 slots for up to a total of eight terabytes of storage, compared with a single slot for up to four terabytes of storage here. Again, they both support up to 128 gigabytes of memory. Uh, taking a quick look around this computer, it is a relatively thin and light computer given the kind of power we're talking about. It's got a 14 inch display, it weighs three and a half pounds, it's got an aluminum and magnesium alloy build, and we've got a pretty nice set of ports here, including uh, two USB 4 ports, 40 GPPS on one side, a headset jack and ethernet. And on the other side, we've got another USB 4 port plus a full-size USB 3.2 uh, Type-A port. Uh, in terms of keeping everything cool, we do have a pretty advanced dual cooling fan system and uh, ventilation uh, on the back. So you can sort of see that everything, well, in this lighting is a little tricky to see and it's behind the, uh, the display here. But basically, uh, air comes up through the bottom and goes out through the back. We've got top firing speakers here and uh, full-size keyboard and uh, we're looking at a matte display on this particular model as well. Uh, it's pretty nice, it feels really pretty solid. It's been through mil-spec uh, uh, testing for re uh, durability, and overall it's uh, a nice looking little map, uh, laptop that I think does live up to sort of the mobile workstation. Um, when we're looking over here at the Mini uh, G1A, the G2 Mini G1A, it is substantially heavier, it's kind of hard to lift, but it also is one that can be positioned in multiple uh, formats, so you can put it on its side. This is a pre-production model, so this won't work, but you can actually tilt the HP logo when it is on its side so that it looks better in that mode. And it can also be mounted to the back of a display if, uh, if you want to sort of put it there. Uh, taking a look at the back, we've got here uh, two USB 4 ports, four USB 3.2 type A ports, uh, two display ports, and a 2.5 uh, gigabit Ethernet port. And up here, two configurable ports that can be, uh, right now we're looking at them with two sorts of LAN ports, but they can be configured with fiber, HDMI, uh, sort of anything else that you need in there. And then on the top, we've also got then uh, another USB type 4 port and a USB 3.2 port and a headset jack. So that is just a quick look at the new uh, mini PC and laptop that are going to be coming out in the spring of uh, 2025 from HP in the sort of Andrew Strix Halo line of workstation class computers. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.